Fasting is a natural practice that many cultures have used for centuries. But did you know that fasting for 36 hours can activate a powerful process inside your body called autophagy? Today, we'll explore the science behind this and how it might help you. But remember, fasting isn't for everyone. Always consult a healthcare professional before starting any fasting routine, especially if you have any medical conditions. What happens during fasting? In the first 12 hours of fasting, your body burns through the glucose from your last meal. At this point, most people can still go about their day without feeling too different. However, if you're fasting for longer, you might start feeling hungry as your body switches to burning fat. It's important to note, fasting may not be safe for everyone. People with diabetes, eating disorders, or certain medical conditions should avoid prolonged fasting without medical supervision. Autophagy after 12 to 24 hours, a natural process called autophagy may begin. This process allows your body to recycle old or damaged cells. Some research suggests that autophagy plays a role in promoting cellular health and longevity. However, more human studies are needed to fully understand its effects. Deeper repair. As your fast continues, your body may enter a deeper repair phase, especially in the gut. Some studies have suggested that fasting may help with gut health, but these benefits depend on various factors, including the individual's health status and how the fast is conducted. Brain health and mental clarity fasting can also impact brain health. After around 12 to 24 hours, your body may begin producing ketones, which provide an alternative energy source for your brain. This is why some people report feeling more mentally clear during a fast. However, it's important to be mindful that fasting might not have the same effect for everyone and could be harmful if not done properly. Breaking your fast safely once you're ready to break your fast, it's essential to reintroduce food slowly. Starting with foods like healthy fats, avocados or olive oil can help your body adjust. Be mindful that how you break your fast can affect your digestion and energy levels. Final thoughts. While fasting can have potential health benefits for some, it's not a one-size-fits-all solution. Shorter fasts, like intermittent fasting, might be more sustainable for many people and can still offer health benefits. Remember, what works for one person may not work for another. Always listen to your body and consult with your doctor before trying any fasting routine. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more science-backed health content.